Okay. Mm. We don't have Vivi rocking the Naruto headband. I'm, I'm not sure if he's trying to channel his in, inner jutsu. What's it called? Gutsu? Jutsu? Um, I'm not a, a very jutsu. familiar with uh, Naruto, Nijutsu. but it's working well for him. Utsumoku, uh, Utsumuki, Utsumeki ni. Utsumeki ni. That's that uh, spell from Final Fantasy XI that Ninja uses at level 31. <laughs> I'm just going to have to give himself some more you. shadows so that it, he went from being a DPS into a tank. Anyways, here we go. Vivi versus Jet. <laughs> I don't this know where that goes. Where did my brain go? Uh, Palutena versus uh, Lucario. Now, Vivi, the gen, well, once again, we have another champion in our midst. Jen has won a Xeno in the past. He's won plenty of Xenos. Vivi has yet to take one. You know he's on the... He's, like, feeling it in his gut that he can eventually take one. He's especially using the character like Lucario. Only Lucario in New York City, I'm pretty sure. I can't say I've played any Lucario. Yeah. So, uh, you know, not many people have... He's also sporting the headband this yeah. time. Definitely got that on his edge, but the thing is, these two play against each other a lot over at the kill stages. Whenever they have like a smash fest going on. Oh, okay. So they know each other quite well. Um, they they go back and forth in friendlies, but you know, once more, those are just friendlies. They don't tell the whole story. You, I mean, use you, you don't you, you don't play friendlies to win. You play friendlies to learn. Yeah. No, they might be hiding something in friendlies. Mm -hmm. Pull out right here in moments like these. Exactly. Yeah, they're just going for that instant dash attack, trying to wait for that landing down there. Who would that have killed? Ah, probably, honestly. Lugario, side B. Stock deficit. Yeah, get now, that extra boost. The crazy thing about Lugario is he's got that uh, aura going on. So not only does he have a rage, he also gets, uh, you know, some more knockback and power off of that. That was a great counter. You saw it happening right there. It, it happens based on percentage as well as, like, a stock deficit. So because he was down to stock, he's getting a little bit of aura. Not too much, honestly. That was just a good, clean kill coming from Lugario. But now he's sitting at high percent. Oh, that was very smart using the wind box of the down smash. Yeah, I mean, VV honestly was that that was, he was frame trapped. There's nothing he could have done, dude. Like, if he would have went in, he would have got hit by the down smash. If he didn't go in, the wind would have pushed him off into the blast, and that's exactly what happened. Jen had him with the checkmate. Um, do you know how much percent like uh would uh that equate in stock deficit? Like, how much percent does that? In theory, add to Lucario towards Aura? Uh, not entirely sure on the specifics there. I just know if there's a stock deficit, it does make it. The maximum Aura comes a little bit quicker than usual. But it's not by much when it's one stock. When it's two stocks, you can definitely notice it a little bit more. Which is why in doubles you would uh, yeah. SD. But now, right now, we got him at 70%. Trying to build that Aura in Ridge. But Jen's not really giving him the chance to close this gap. But you see all that damage you got off of that one little projectile? Yeah. Okay, trying to stall as long as he can to avoid that up smash. You saw Jen charging that for the longest time. He, he could have kept charging onto it, but he yeah. thought he was going to let it rip a little bit too soon. Trying to call him out with the up B. Now, I'm confused about the... Uh, comp oh, oh, my God. God. Jen, do you feel dirty, Jen? That was... That was I, I feel a little uncleansed. Yeah. From witnessing that. I do notice that Vivi tries to get rid of the Aura Spheres as fast as possible just so he can have those... Uh, Hitboxes again on charge up. I mean, it makes sense, you know, like Lucario wants to get those uh, Aura Sphere charges. Going for that neutral B to be able to try to combo what? off the air into like some more. Does he have smashes. true confirms anymore since the nerfs? Uh, I believe they're different now. It's mm. not the same as they were in Smash 4, but he still can get something out of it. Maybe not a kill, but I think he can get some aerial he, attacks off of it. He definitely that. killed Dill earlier. Yeah. And you know, obviously, obviously, if the opponent like DI is incorrectly, like they can get a lot more jank stuff off of it. But it, it depends on the opponent. Now, Vivi, he's actually hesitating here. He might be thinking about going for one of his other characters because he plays more than Lucario. He likes to, I like to think that he plays a lot of the Pokemon. Yeah, I, I can't say I've seen any of his other uh, characters, and it looks like he's gonna stay with the Lucario. Mm -hmm. I know he has a Pokemon trainer. He uh, also has a Mewtwo on deck. But like, I, I agree with sticking with Lucario. I think it was just a. Uh, he got outplayed that game. I don't think it was a matter of picking the wrong character or not. So now we're going to go to Battlefield, you know, get those Triplats at the ready. Give Palutena a little bit less room to be able to run away. And that neutral air, even though he got the parry on one of the swings, it is a multi-hit, so he's able to get hit by the final swing of the little Staffaroonie. Going off super oh, deep. That's, oh, that's it. The momentum is gone. Destroyed. I don't think the headband's quite working out in yeah. this match. Jen has the mental advantage, like the, no doubt. Because Vivi's got to pull something out of his hat. I mean, if there's any character to do it, it's definitely Lucario. And you hate to see that happen because you saw Vivi was clearly wanting to charge that and land down on the stage or grab the ledge or something, but he went off so deep. 
and he didn't recognize he went for the air dodge. Because he went for an air dodge, he had so much lag afterwards. There you go, nice catch on that double he jump. Slapped them in percent. Not gonna allow, not gonna allow him to land down on the ground. Had the down smash at the ready in case he wanted to roll it back onto the stage. I like that shield pressure backing off to try to like bait out like a roll or a spot dodge or a retaliation of some sorts. Cross him up with the forward airs. Not sure. Very hungry for these back airs. That was kind of a yellow uppy. Just trying to get back on center stage to mix them up. It, kind of a desperate measure for Vivi. Nice thing at 146%. Great air dodge read from Jen. It's going to take his second stock. Now, honestly, he's losing by two stocks. Things are looking pretty bad for Vivi. But he's yeah. got the aura. You know, remember that, that two stock deficit? That's right. I don't know. I'm not sure it's going to help him at all, but I it's mean, something. It's a light to find in this darkness, you know? Yeah, you got to look for anything you can. And even if he gets the stock, now he's going to have less aura through the stock deficit because he took a stock. And now he's got to take that stock. And then he's got to take a third stock yes, with sir. no stock deficit uh, aura boost. There we go. That one. I mean, now he's got to take two more intake to that much damage. He's still sitting at 52%. That's This is not undoable per se, but it's going to be one hell of a mountain to climb. Oh my god, call him out even more. That's just more mental damage to Vivi. Yes, sir. There we go, 120%. There we go. Got some conversions you know going what? on. Gets the goes for the grab, 15%. He has momentum here on the edge of the stage. We'll see if Jen can find his way back down. It was waiting for that spot dodge. You see how big that point. ball is getting? That is a big blue ball. Looks like a bowling ball, jeez. Oh, again? Uh, the he's gonna fear, make it. No, he's yeah, because it. he has high percentage, he gets more distance on the up so he's able to get back to the stage safe and sound. Oh my god, gets yeah, the back here off the shield, still living at 154% on battlefield. Hold on. Going up super high, avoids the ledge altogether to mix him up. Up air, almost sending him to the top of the blast zone. Gets the grab, kills him at 77% evisceration. Vivi. Might be bringing it back. Hold on a second. 167. Ah, oh, there it is. It. Catches the back air. Jen diffusing the momentum before he gets anything. Rolling 2 0 victory. And Jen's favorite is going to move on to winner's semis. A very good job by Jen not to crack under the pressure. 150 Lucar, 160 Lucar could be pretty mm. scary. A couple hits. And you're gone. I just, I want to rinse the replay of that second stock, man, because, like, you saw him grab him at 77%. Is this the one? Did you save it, Devin? Did you save it just for me? Right here. He's going to grab him on the left platform. Look at that. He just disintegrates. Yet. Where did he go? <laughs> he was at 72%. That is the strength of Rage, Aura, and Lucario. That was disgusting. And I'm sure Jen was holding shield because... He wasn't expecting grab to kill him. Let's see how many frames he lasts. Oh, okay. Oh. I want to see how many <laughs> frames he lasted on that screen after that side view. If he just like, like one frame he's there, and the next frame he's just off stage. That's like, what I was hoping like for. Like in, in the magnifying glass completely. <laughs> yeah, we got that instant.